Right, hello everybody. Well, we're going to have a little special interview today with uh, a very important guest. Uh, this guest is someone that we know for a long time. He's a Marksburg customer, or at least was when he uh, used to be a printer. He's now uh, off on his own doing consulting and uh, cross-media along with uh, print media, which is quite interesting. He's also the um, uh, yeah, four-sitter, the, the chairman of the board for the CMBO, the CMBO in Holland. It's a very important organization that ties together, uh, let's say, cross-media with printing. Now, uh, it works uh, very closely with the printing organization in Holland, the KVGO, the Royal Dutch uh, Printing Association. Uh, he's on the front cover here of the latest uh, graphicus here in Holland, and they have a nice uh, little article on, you know, full-page article on him here. So, uh, let's give Peter a call, you know. Let's go over there on iChat and give him a call and see if he can do a little interview with us. Because uh, he's very active on Twitter, and I'm interested how he sees Twitter um, being useful for printers and uh, people in media in general. So let's give him a call. Okay, great. Have Peter on the line now. How are you doing today, Peter? Fine. How are you, David? Very well. Very well. Okay. Well, we know you for quite a long time, and uh, you know I could give an intro, but maybe it's better before we jump into uh, the subject of Twitter here. You can give a little background on uh, who you are, what you do, etc. Yes. Um, well, I'm uh, 40 years old. Uh, my, I'm married. I have uh, three kids. Uh, right now, I'm an uh, independent cross-media specialist, and uh, I help my clients understand uh, cross-media and uh, technology. And I know a little bit about uh, content processes like uh, uh, creation, distribution, uh, etc. And uh, at the time, I'm a chairman for CMBO, yeah. which is uh, like an association of media production uh, companies here in Holland. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and Peter is uh, well known in the industry. He's uh, comes from a printing background. He uh, yes. co-owned a print shop or, or or more, I guess actually. And yeah, and uh, yeah, I had a printing company from the early '90s, and uh, that evolved into like a content uh, management uh, company. And I left that company August last year. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, and now, yeah, you're you're active with the CMBO and all these organizations, and you're consulting, but. What really caught my attention was you're really active on on Twitter. Um, I mean, you have something like 765 people following you, which is quite a few. I mean, there's there's people with yeah. with more, but that's that's a pretty good uh, amount of people following yeah. you. And um, you know, why did you choose to get active on Twitter? What what drove you there? Well, I'm like an early adopter, and I really like to try out uh, 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 beta web services. Where every, every web service is a beta today, so it's it, it's still beta. Um, yeah. But I like to try out this, these new new uh, tools and to see if it's of any use of me in my work or if it's any use for somebody for a professional use. Right. And um, I met uh, this uh, uh, tech blogger Robert Scoble a couple of years ago. And I followed him uh, online uh, since then, and uh, Twitter really took off uh, on a uh, South by Southwest conference in Texas in, uh, I think it was fall 2006, and um, I started using it uh, uh, February 2007. It was a nice tool to see what people were doing yeah. and what they were looking at and reading and so it's like a, a news uh, news tool for me, and now it's a networking tool as well. Yeah, I notice you give both personal insights into your daily life, but also, uh, yeah, you're talking uh, business and and uh, giving tips and and getting tips. So, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I have to say, Peter is a uh, yeah sort of a model Twitter user. He's sort of the way a lot of people will use it: get personable, but also, you know, give a lot of professional in insights. Um, yeah. So uh, now. Yeah, more on to something I've been getting into a lot lately. Why should players from print media, why should printers consider using Twitter? Well, the funny thing is with uh, Twitter is that you can, um, it's like uh, uh, 
are talking or chatting to somebody, like mm -hmm. we are doing now, but you're not talking to just one person, you're talking to a lot of persons, like your followers. Um, and I don't think that the number of followers is, uh, is, is, is leading, but I think the, the quality of your followers is, is even actually uh, discuss or talk with them um, uh, about new developments or new technology or, or anything else. And what it's really good is good for is like to for especially for printers is that it, they have a platform to demonstrate their expertise or their knowledge, and they can share it with uh, with other people, and uh, that is the I think the, the main part of, of of networking in general as well. It's the same rules that that uh, uh, that apply to Twitter as well. Is that um, you share your info, and by that you. Well, you generate traffic to your website because people get interested in what you are talking about. Yeah. And um, uh, you also establish your expertise in, in this, this specific print area as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and you mentioned some good tools uh, and other conversation we had, which is uh, TweetDeck and other tools, third-party tools that help you use Twitter, which uh, people should look into as well. And I'll give some um, yeah. in the text uh, on the blog. Um are you active in any other social networking sites or you know online tools anything else uh... well there are two of course well uh, as an early adopter i think i'll have i have profiles on most social <laughs> networks but yeah. i don't actively use them um the 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 one i use most actively is uh, is linkedin as a professional network yeah. And one I am more actively using lately is uh, uh, a service called FriendFeed. Oh yeah. Which is a it's more like an aggregator of all your social networks and information streams, and where you can uh, actively discuss um, uh, uh, news or uh, technology technology news or things that Twitter is little lacking a little bit. You know, you can react and you can talk to each other, but you you don't get a, a, a a, a condensed view discussion. That is right. what FriendPeed right. um, uh, is facilitating. It's it's taking off a bit, and it's it's very interesting to follow specific subjects as well. Yeah, yeah, indeed, it's ever evolving, and uh, yeah, 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 so, <laughs> it never stops. Yeah, I've enjoyed getting involved in this online uh, uh, social networking bit, but it's sometimes a bit daunting. And uh, but I guess the, the the best advice is stick with it, and you know it will it'll come for itself. All these uh, different networks. Yeah, but uh, what I think is the main thing about networking also in, in real life is that you have to, uh, uh, your main focus should be is what can I do for you instead of what can you do for me. Good point. If you start, if you uh, go by it uh, the second way, I think you'll, you'll end up uh, with a worthless network very soon. Yeah. And um, I think what's what like things like Link, LinkedIn is great for is to see what people are, people are doing and uh, who they are connecting to, and then you get a certain insight of their expertise and their networks, and you can see if they, if you can help them before you can ask the question, what can you do for me? Yeah, that's a very good point. That's been uh, in my tests throughout the year, you know, last year and a half or so. I've noticed in totally different networks that when you get too greedy. Yep. You fail, but when you yes. help people out and care, like you, like you normally do with real networks anyway, things go for themselves very good. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, Peter, thank you today. Uh, I will give a link to people where they can see you on Twitter, which is you know t w i t t e r dot com forward slash p v a n t e e s. And yes. Of course, I'll provide that link and. Uh, they can come chat with you uh, yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Cool. Great, Peter. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Thank you, David. Have a good day. Too bad we can't ice skate anymore, but uh, maybe uh, next week. You never know. Well, you never know, David. You never know. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. See you now.